what's going on everybody and welcome to your 37th HTML and CSS tutorial in which um, we'll be starting off with a little small HTML and CSS series itself within it within, within the series and we would be developing a cool and nice HTML5 layout page with CSS so basically this would last for a couple or more tutorials long and we'd learn a lot of things a lot of new things about HTML and CSS so let's get started so the uh, look of our web page would be something like header would be here then a nice little ad banner for displaying your advertisements then a navigation then maybe um, content right here S slider here and then uh, footer one footer two footer three so this would be our basic prototype for our web page so now one thing I should tell you that we would be developing this whole web page in pure HTML5 and CSS3 graphics only and I don't know maybe I would be using some external images or not but we'll see that so let's get started so first of all what we need to develop is the header one and I'll just comment it out and I don't think this should cause a problem basically but never mind whoa so we just did some modifications okay so now the first thing we need to do is to develop a header and let's do it that with header in the div so now we have got this div for the header one and the first thing we want is the logo this should be logo actually here so now let's create some logo here and we'll specify an image for the logo as logo.png all right so i'll just close this logo right now and we'll just start with advertisement and this should be some ad.png okay so now we have got this header ready the prototype of the header in the HTML and now let's style this in the CSS so first of all what we need is a CSS reset and the CSS reset I'm supplying applying because by default if you see that let's say if I add some content right here then you see that there's a little margin if you see that red portion there's a little margin by default which is applied this style sheet which says user agent style sheet which is applied by the Chrome itself so we need to have similarities across browsers so I'll just select every element and I would just say that margin should be zero and padding should be zero so by default any element which was inheriting this uh, user agent style sheet the style sheet would be overridden by this style right here for any element so now when I reload this I get these two broken images sticked with the top left of the browser so now let's uh, fill them with some images you say I'll just open in got you know, mode incognito sorry uh, let's search for a dummy logo and I'll go with a transparent one maybe this should work so let's just or 
why say when I can have the URL because I'm always connected with the internet so I'll just have the URL the next thing we need is the advertisement banner so let's search for advertisement banner and we've got a nice site for it which is placeholder placeholder.it and by a slash separated you could technically specify any size and it would generate it dynamically with its software built inside it maybe on PHP but for now I just want 728 by 91 and I'll just copy this URL and I'll just paste it, paste it right here so now um, let's open the file tab and okay here we go okay so this is our page and I guess I did a mistake I should have shoot this tutorial in full screen mode but never mind the next one will be in full screen so this is our little page right here um, I guess this is not much of um, visible to you because of this small screen so I guess I'll just end this tutorial right now and in the next tutorial I'll basically start with the head of one so I'll see you then and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching